Good morning, guys. Welcome back. I'm Jen Jen today. Yeah, today is a floss tube video, number 77. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me. I don't feel well today. I have a really bad head cold. I woke up this morning, my throat was sore. Um, yeah, I just don't feel, you know, the greatest this morning. Okay, so I'm going to do um, progress on my um, on the whips that I'm working on now. The one I worked on last month, I did not do a whole lot with. I didn't even post it on groups or anything like this. Um, don't ask me why. I don't even remember why. I think like the last two weeks, I just didn't do. Um, I just didn't add anything to the to video or to um, groups and events. I was just, I guess, out of it. But anyway, this is what I'm working on. What what I worked on last month, Cascade, and um, where did I leave off? Um, I'm looking at my picture to make sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was here, but I got really, really irritated, so I ended up going over to the next page, which is like right here. Um, if you guys can see, can you see, can you see, can you see? I hope so. But right here is where I'm at on this next page. And um, I got really irritated with it, uh, with the, the rainbow, because it was mainly a little bit of confetti, and um, so I ended up at the end of the at the end of the month just finishing where I was and this is what I've done so far and there you go can you see I hope so um but that's where I'm at so far okay now I started on the next one for the month and I did not do bountiful bookshelf I wanted to but I just I'm not feeling confetti between diamond painting and confetti, uh, that the diamond painting I was working on is just nothing but confetti, and I was just not feeling it. So between that and the diamond painting, I just said, you know what, I'm gonna work on something that has some color blocking to it because I was just not uh, feeling it, and then of course, you know, I started coming down with this really disgusting cold. And no, I it's not COVID. I've already been checked. It's just cold. I can feel it in my head, right up in here, and it's not. Um, yeah, it's not making me feel well. Um, <clears throat> so I am decided to go back and work on this for a while. Excuse me. Um, as you guys recall, I was down here, so I am now on the next couple page or the next page, which is like I think it's uh like right in here, this section at the very bottom. So I don't know if I'm gonna go straight across uh, and do you know one row, you know one row, or just go up. I haven't decided yet. So we are. <clears throat> I haven't done very much this week. Uh, there's been a lot going on, and I um, haven't really sat down to do a whole lot. But this is where I'm at. I did all of, yeah, all of this part of the page, and then I'm down here. So now I just need to finish everything else, and I don't think it's going to take very long. It's all intense stitches, so I don't think that's going to take very long because I find it easier to stitch uh, ten stitches, and I find it easy, you know, that it's um, it makes it go by a whole lot faster. But for that, I did do. I finished a cabin in. Uh, Magical Stitches. Actually, I finished two cabins. And I'm almost with finished one of... They have... The group has a um, yearly challenge where you read... Where you stitch... Um, 
to the Percy Jackson books. So, little dude likes to read those. So, we are almost finished with The Lightning Thief. So, and I'm almost finished stitching the stitches that are required for The Lightning Thief so I can move on to the next one. So, I'm really proud of myself because I uh, <clears throat> got those done. Okay, so that's really, really um, progress. Now, I am, <sighs> I'm getting ready to do a thing. Um, <laughs> um, and it's not, it doesn't happen for another, you know, few months. But anyway, a couple of us are going to do some long dog samplers together. <laughs> okay, I, I, I don't particularly like samplers, but as you guys know, when Pandemic came out, when Long Dog offered that, I didn't get to get the pattern I, it, when it was free. I was very upset with myself. So I picked that. And so now I am searching for the fabric and I'm searching for the floss. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, somebody kind of enabled me. <laughs> now I have floss. I will be getting floss, but I'm going to, I didn't want to use the regular skeins. I wanted the Hanks. So I found, yeah, I found it. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> For, uh, one of my friends that I Zoom with, she kind of gave me the website. So, <laughs> yeah, now yeah, we're good. Yeah. So, and the Hanks are really, really reasonable. Um, and I don't remember the website. Yes, I do. Um, but um, it's called dying uh, for cross .com, And I probably am way behind on knowing about that website. But anyway, so I found a couple that I'm going to choose from. I want to be different. I don't want to be using the same colors over and over again. So I'm going to be different. There's like one, two, three. There's four of them to choose from. So, I'm going to be sitting down in the next couple months trying to decide which ones I'm going to be using for that. And um, I've kind of already narrowed down the fabric. It's, uh, and when I decide, I will let you know. I'm, when I get between the ones I want, I'll let you know. But I've kind of already narrowed it down to um, a gray color. So, we'll see. Okay. That's all for stitching. So if you were only here to watch stitching, thank you for watching. But I'm getting ready to talk about reading. Um, so you guys know. I started a blog. I have a stitching blog. And I think they're on top of my, they're on my banner. The links are on my banner of my YouTube channel. Uh, now, I've never done this before. I've never, ever, ever thought about doing this I've never I, I, and usually when I when I do my blog because I have my stitching blog I usually you know kind of make mention of you know stuff I'm reading but um, a friend of mine Robin loves reading was the one that kind of inspired me to do this so the blogs are up on the banner and I have been um, I'm starting on a new adventure let's put it that way and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm doing book reviews for, uh, you know, books that I've read and so forth. And I'm really excited about it because I just posted my first two yesterday. So I'm really, really um, excited. Uh, I haven't really, I finished the fifth or four. Mm -hmm. I finished the fifth horseman from um, from uh, James Patterson. I, I wasn't very, I don't want to say I wasn't very overly impressed because it just, I don't know. I, I've always loved the Murder Club mysteries, but this one, it just seemed, I don't want to say boring. I mean, they're all good. The plot is always good. But instead of all the other ones, like what they did for, I think it was like the first three, they always 
did it from the killer's perspective and you knew who he was. It didn't come out and really tell you in the, like, the first couple of chapters like it did with the first book. So, that was the only thing I kind of, you know, I mean, a lot of the other books, no. Um, I am trying to get ready to, I'm so far behind on reading, guys. Um, it, it's, it, you just don't know. And <laughs> next week's going to be even worse <laughs> because Little Dude starts school next week. And um, I'm trying to get into a schedule for videos and get him situated because he really doesn't have to start school until 9 o'clock. But, you know, I'm still trying to get him ready. And the good thing is, you know, he's doing it virtual. It's just different this year. So we will keep that update. But anyway, I have been so behind on reading, it's not even funny. And I feel like I bore you guys every week when I do that. So what I've decided to do is every, I don't know, I might do it every month. I haven't decided yet. I will probably every other week I will tell you what's what I'm reading and what I you know, finished or whatever, but, um, I wanted to share that, the blog with you, the, both blogs actually, and to let you know what's going on. I haven't updated stitching on my blog yet, but, um, on the stitching blog, but I will this weekend, and, um, it just all depends on how I feel because you guys can tell. I don't know if you guys can hear. My throat is just like not feeling very good. So, uh, I'm trying to think what was the ones I finished. Uh, I have to go on my Goodreads and look and I'll tell you. Because, yeah. uh, da -da 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 -da, let's see. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be slow. It's not going to... It's going to be a little slow this morning. Why are we being slow? Um, this is not funny. It's being slow. It's not um, letting me... That's one... Okay, that's not it. I'm going to go here. Okay. It, it's there we go okay I also finished conspiracy in death uh, that was really good I like all her books anyway all the JD Robs in death series and um, it, it was really 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 uh, they're really good I just like the way that it flows along and so forth but um, uh, those are the only two I've finished in the last couple weeks. I don't see any more that I finished. So that that's um, yeah, I finished that. So the next one now I will tell you guys there is a new one that I want to read. It's from what is it? I'll tell you. I don't even remember what her name is to be truthful. Um. It's called When Shadows Fall by J.T. Ellison. Now, I've never heard of her, to be truthful. I, uh, I have no clue who she is. But it is a part three in a series. And I don't, I've looked on my, um, on my hoopla that I use to get, uh, you know, audiobooks through when um, I'm not listening on Audible, I get the audiobooks through my library. And um, the third one, which is the one I'm getting ready to read, is 
uh, Samantha's attempt to unravel a 20-year-old mystery may put her very life at risk. Nothing about the case makes sense, but it is clear someone is unwilling to let anyone, especially Samantha Owens, discover the truth. So it sounds really good. I was trying to find, I think what I'm going to do is just look it up and find out and Google it and see if there's any, you know, where the other, where I can get the first two because I want to, I want to hear it. I want to, I want to know. And I feel kind of weird. I don't like going out of, um, out of order when you're reading stuff like that because it's just, it gets you all confused. So, uh, that's on my list of books to listen to. But, um, that's really all I got this week. I will keep you up to date on other things. Oh, before I forget, sorry, Crystal, I almost forgot. Not so scary fall party. Crystal's Crafty Creations is going to be uh, announcing this on, on her live today at 12. She's doing a live. It's going to be a kickoff. It starts today. And if I'm not mistaken, and Crystal, you can um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's any painting that you're, any diamond painting, any cross stitch project, any craft project that you're going to be working on during the fall. I have my cross stitch that I'm going to be working on and my diamond painting. So it starts today. I forget how long it's going. See, I didn't get all this information, but this is the kickoff today. And um, <clears throat> she's going to kill me. And it is the hashtag is, see, I told you she's going to kill me because I don't remember this. The hashtag is not so scary fall party that you guys can post on Instagram for with the picture. So when you go to post on Instagram, you know how they how y'all do it. I've never done hashtags that much, so I don't know. So that's uh, what I remembered, and I didn't want to forget to post that. So she can tell you more information if you go and visit her channel uh, at. Uh, 12 o'clock I will post the link to her channel in my description box and you guys can go and check out about the not so scary fall party alrighty then that's it I hope everyone has a great week thank you for watching and until then I will have a great day